Today, I will show you how to find the side length of a right triangle. If you already know two sides of the right triangle, then you use this Pythagorean theorem to find the third side, which is a square plus b square equals c square. Now, if you only know one side of a right triangle, then you use trig ratios, which are sine, cosine, and tan. Okay, so today I will show you how to work with a square plus b square equals c square to find the side length of a right triangle. So let's do some examples. Okay, so we have a right triangle here. The right angle is right here. Now the side that is opposite to our right angle and the longest side is always C. Okay, so let's call this side A and this side B. So the first thing we do is we write down what's given to us, what is known. So we know A is 9 and B is 3. Now let's write down what's unknown, what we need to find, which is C. Okay, so let's write down the formula. That is a square plus b square equals c square. At this point, we usually manipulate our formula if the variable that we're looking for is not already isolated. But we're looking for c and c is already isolated. So we don't need to do any manipulation. So all we do is we plug in the numbers and calculate c. So 9 square plus 3 square equals C square. So we have 81 plus 9 equals C square. Now that is 90 equals C square. Okay, so we need to find C. But in the formula, we have c square. So the opposite of squaring is taking the square root. So let's take a square root of this. So what we do to the one side, we do to the other side. So let's take a square root of the other side. So this square right here and this square root cancel each other out. So we're left with c equals 2 and the square root of 90 is 9.5. So the side length of hypotenuse is 9.5. Okay, so let's do another example. This is our right angle right here. And the side that is opposite to that right angle and that is the longest is always labeled as C. Okay, so let's call this A and let's call this side B. Okay, so let's write down what is given to us in the question. So A is equal to 10 centimeters. And C is equal to 12 centimeters. Now we are looking for B. Okay, so let's write down our formula. Which is A squared plus b square equals c square. Now we need to solve for b. So we need to isolate b. So we're adding a square in this equation on this side. So we're going to subtract it. What we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. We're going to subtract a square from the other side as well. Now, plus a square minus a square, they cancel each other out. We are left with b square on this side equals to c square minus a square. Okay, so we have the variable isolated. Let's plug in the numbers and solve for b. Okay, so c square is 12 square minus 10 square. 
So we have 144 minus 100. Okay, so we have b squared equals 44. We need to find b. So what we're going to do is we're going to cancel this square, and we're going to do this by taking a square root. So what we do to the one side, we do it to the other side. The square root and the square cancel each other out. We are left with b equals 2, the square root of 44, which is 6.6. .6. So side B is 6.6 .6 centimeters long. So remember, whenever you're solving for the sides of a right triangle, and if you know two sides, you always use this formula right here, which is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. If you only know one side of the right triangle, then you use trig ratios, which I will show you in the next video. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any of my new lessons.